Hey guys and welcome into today's brief video update on SoFi Technologies. We're going to be looking at a price prediction for SoFi coming through over the next few weeks where we can expect SoFi to be moving and also some news about the bank charter. If you do enjoy this video then go down below, be sure to like this video and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I cover stocks like SoFi every single week along with some of our other channel favourites so feel free if you have time to have a look on my channel and see what other stocks I am covering. If you would like to support the channel in any way then feel free to join the link to the private patreon below because we have had a fantastic year on the discord this year so guys let's jump straight into the computer and see what is up on the screen so guys let's start by talking about the google trends just briefly as we can see that trending since around june time so far has been very up and down with the google search term but technically we are currently seeing another spike in the market where a lot of people are interested in so far stock and if we look just before we come on to the price predictions at this article last month on of course yahoo finance we can see why a bank charter is going to be good for sofi and you guys know that i did a full breakdown video with golden pacific bank corp and how that is planning to speed up their process so that they can have an approved bank charter which will then increase lending capabilities and it will allow them to operate like a bank by using deposits to offer loans as lending is the primary source of revenue the company will be able to expand its lending capabilities and again they will then have no relying on third-party banks which again is going to drive the operation costs down in the long term and they will have improved marketing and pricing control so that's very important because again that is going to help with their EBITDA and also their long-term growth as a company inside their revenue by lowering the cost down and allowing them to have a much more flexible approach so that is why it's going to be very significant for them and that is going to allow them to be a key player and more people will start to sign up because they will have that name underneath them and as you can see illustrated in the chart below that is what they are anticipating is going to happen for them long term in profitability and we can see down further on this article that by 2023 we are expected to have some kind of profitability where we will then actually be in a net positive for SoFi coming into the next four quarters quarters now if this does happen in 2022 potentially at q4 then again this could actually speed up that process and we could see this stock fly up off the radar just like we have done in the past because this is a very volatile stock and if we come on to tip ranks guys you can see that we have currently seven analysts covering this stock with a moderate buy and again some of the top stock analysts right now are saying that this is a high of 30 dollars per share with an average of 25 dollars and if we come on Onto the stock chart for SoFi, you can see that we are currently sitting around that $16 price range. Now we have just sold off significantly despite the fact that we had absolutely blow our earnings and this company are continuing to deliver, they are continuing to grow and we know that SoFi are currently using a lot of that revenue that they have right now in advertising, especially for the Super Bowl, which hopefully is going to continue to increase those users and again right now a lot of the people that have had student loans with SoFi are coming into their mature years into their 30s where they will start to have higher salary careers which is going to allow them once they do operate as a bank to start to pile in more money and rely on other services that SoFi can develop over the next five years where they can get mortgages insurance and all of these other things which is then going to also drive up the cost of these revenues which is thus going to push the stock price of SoFi to my opinion into greater territory into the high 30s and low 40s again this is moving over the next two years once we do hit net profit we do get that bank charter and again we do start to see that increase in how SoFi are developing as a company so right now if we are to get our shares around this area of support as you can see the lockup expiration date period has ended and not much has happened not many people have sold and again right now we can see that we are sitting at around that area of consolidation we have now bounced off the technical of the 30 on the RSI which goes to show me that we are in a nice place for an uptrend but we have crossed down below the 50 on the 21 day moving average so what I would like to see is for this 21 day moving average to cross back above this 50 which would then go to show me that we are back in bullish momentum come back onto the top range of the 50 on the RSI where we will then start to trend onto higher highs so hopefully once we do get that news of a bank charter and with these increased price targets that we are having every single month from these top Wall Street analysts 
you guys will start to see and understand how SoFi is playing out long term and how they are going to continually grow as a company between 30 and 40% per year, again with those revenues and eventually hitting profitability by 2023. So guys, if you did enjoy this video, then be sure to go down there and smash that like button for me. I really do appreciate and I love doing these videos for you. If you want to add anything in the comments, then let me know if I have missed anything or if you would like me to cover any other topics on the SoFi stock. I absolutely love reading and hearing from each and every one of you. Like I said in the start of this video, if you do want to support me in any way, then please be sure to check out the link below to the private Patreon and join a fantastic channel community of investors and like-minded individuals where we talk about our favorite stocks every single day and you will get access to anything that I am doing with my stocks inside my portfolio. So guys have a fantastic week and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Until then, ciao for now.